sure that there's a little bit of difference on a few things. Um, okay, let's see. Firefox. Okay. So here's the bracket, and in case you're using a small screen, I should blow this up. I can. All right, let's. Well, I wonder if this works. Oh, beautiful, 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 wonderful. All right, printable bracket, love it. So here's what happened today. Um, wrapping up the tournament, we initially had 12 teams signed up. I kind of, kind of knew at. at ahead of time and that uh, not every not all the teams can make it so um we had 12 teams signed up a jaguar team wasn't able to participate because uh our two core members proxima and myself were i was running the event proxima was running one of the servers so sorry jaguars we'll get them next time i know you i know what you're we're looking forward to that uh the dev hacks team uh uh, weren't able to get their their members there in time, even though they did all technically show up, or had enough to show uh, to play. I offered to let them play with Mercs, but yeah, next time, next time. And then um, we had one team completely no show, which was the um, uh, yeah one team wasn't one team wasn't able to make it. That's right. So that left us with um, eight teams, which is ideal because we don't need buys. Uh, buy, um, a buy for that, a buy week, and um, so today we had Proxima, Invictus, Silvercraft, um, and myself uh, running running the servers and uh, keeping things moving, and then uh, the 12 VR uh, uh, members took uh, took care of their own matches, so that was great, and then uh, we played on. We had Bears server available. We had. Domkeck server available. We had a uh, server I was uh, providing via one of my uh, buddies who provides a server. And then um, Phylex and uh, SJ provided the primary servers that we used um, for the rest of it. 12th Yard did spin up a server for us. Appreciate that. We might take you up, we might take you up on that offer in the future, um, even when things don't break. And then um, the team captains today, in theory, were... Either Carbonell or Evan for SA, and then uh, the second SA team. Um, that's a good question. I'm not sure who the second SA team captain was. Um, discourse. Let's take a look here a minute. Uh, where is this? This is a week to go. Tournament spoilers bracket. Where's the sign up for this? There's the sign up. Okay, so the captain for the second team was probably um, Den Air Walker or, or Glarg. Uh, I think Glarg was able to play too much today. So Edberg was the captain of Aerodami Light Horse. Um, uh, Snow Given, captain of the uh, 12 Yard team. Bear, the captain of Bear and his minions. And then. Um, I think that's all the teams and then jamuk uh Lico, uh the leader of the jade falcon guards and then the first falcon jaegers was um jamek and then uh so the way things broke out today was when we were initially starting it uh it took us a while to get things going so uh i just put teams as teams were ready i said you're battling you you're battling you and then um before we knew we had eight solid teams, uh, we Star Adder had an interesting idea to do a round robin. So what we ended up doing was if you lost, you still played other teams. And then we identified the two quote unquote top performers. Um, so Aerodyne Light Horse had some wins, like like two wins and a loss in their initial rounds or something like that. And then um and then the Jade guards, Jade Falcon guards, lost in the semifinal, and so those two two teams were ready to play. So I threw that together as the third place team uh, for third place. Uh, so um, this bracket is a little bit inaccurate in that technically the first Falcon um, Jaegers, that was actually Aerodyne Light Horse, and um, so Aerodyne Light Horse uh, actually finished in fourth place. And we have a, a bit of a weird situation, but just based on what we were able to play, um, the uh, the the Jaegers um, just uh, d didn't play for the for the third for the uh, 
didn't play past their loss in the semifinals. So let's break this down real quick and then and then wrap this up. Uh, first match, this one was... I did this one. I was the supervisor, and then this was a 3 to nothing sweep. Uh, on the first match, time ran out. But the it was so close that the that the two teams just decided to keep it. So we were gonna play four, we were gonna play four maps there. But um, that was three nothing. So Aerodani Light Horse moved down to, I can't show it on the bracket, but Aerodani Light Horse along with some of the other teams moved down to a round robin pool. I'll try to write that up at some point. So they they so just for purposes of the bracket, they were eliminated from for, from the championship uh, contention. Then uh, this one was done by. Hmm. This one started being done by Proxima as supervising, then Invictus took over, and uh, this was a mercenary team. People that showed up that weren't attached to a team. Uh, so there were three or four pilots that had signed up, so I just left a mercenary team open that also gave me the option had I had time to have taken the Jaguars and let them play in the event. Um, so that was a bit of a surprise. The mercenary team, initially led by Silvercraft, and and that and um, oh, I hate this that I can't remember the names. They um, uh, sorry, it's been a long day. Silvercraft, and then uh, Marius captain that, but their their teams were pretty consistent. Fiend, Fiend was in there. Um, Poe plug was in there, and then there were two others. It, it rotated among about five pilots, even though there were uh, a few other people that did sneak in there. I played in one match because we couldn't find somebody in time. Um, and I played in that match. Okay, so anyway, uh, Bear formed a team, and uh, they they had fun today, but uh, they were knocked out three to nothing uh, out of the championship contention. And then the first Falcon uh, Jaegers were, uh, this was, this was 12th VR right here. Um, so this was kind of self, self hosted. I think um, late in the match that Proxim, that Invictus might have started Invictus or Proxima or the 12th VR guys. It's somebody in there. Somebody supervised this. Long day, forgive me. Um, and uh, 12th VR played in a special thanks to 12th VR for having the patience. It took me a while to get the 8th team put together. Um, so there were other battles played in between these, but this this was for, for the record. And uh, so the second Jade Falcon team showed up, and they were able to play. And uh, so this was Jamek versus Snow Givens guys, and uh, that was a 3-0. So these teams that lost, Aerodonny Light Horse, Stand Arrow... Uh, Baron his minions and 12th VR, they kind of played each other a few times and um, had some had some good matches, and then um, Proxima handled the semifinal. I handled the other semifinal. This semifinal took a while to get going, like a good half an hour. Or so uh, that that's why the stream's a little bit long because uh, because it took us a while to get going. Anyway, up here, uh, Star Adder, um, Jade Falcons put up a good fight. I think. This wasn't written down, but I think the score was 3-1. But uh, Liko's team got knocked out. Um, Liko's team got knocked to the uh, third place game. And then, um, we, like I said, we were playing this for a long time. This one, I supervised this one. The mercenary team was down 2 to nothing, And then the um, they were able to win three straight. And uh, I played on one of the matches on there. And then um, Auto Downloader. Ugh. Very, very sorry, Stiltskin, that, that we weren't able to get you in, in all those matches. Um, we'll do better next time. But anyway, uh, the Mercenary team won. They came back, and it was a close match, too. The, the final match on, I think it was Vista. It, it was extremely close, but they held on. So then, let's go here to our third place game. This is actually Aerodonny Light Horse down here, this um, th this final one in the bronze match. And then the uh, Jade Falcon guards, Liko's team, uh, were down there. So ELH and Liko played for teams uh, due to time, um, due to the setup. Uh, they played for third place. The um, the second uh, Clan Jade Falcon team kind of uh, kind of just uh, started um, started watching from that point. So for third place, uh, 
uh, and then that was 3 nothing. And then in the championship round, um, there were some interesting tactics used, but uh, at the end of the day, Star Adder always had a response or, or uh, something happened. And uh, so they're your champions, as you can uh, set, I suppose we scroll up. I um, thought this was on print. Anyway, Star Adder, Stone Mask, Champions, uh, secondary, uh, second place, Mercenary Team 1, and then um, official third place, Jade Falcon Guards, uh, and then asked for final standings of the eight teams, and again, uh, we had to do, do some of this on the fly, but uh, official, official standings, um, Official standings were uh, third place Shade Falcon Guards, fourth place Aerodonny Light Horse. I'm sorry, ELH, that I don't have this written in. It's it's a limitation of the bracket, and um, I'll try to get I'll try to have something else up other than this. Aerodonny Light Horse finishes in fourth. Um, fifth place, then I have to start guessing here a little bit, but I think um, uh, fifth place. Just the way the cookie crumbled, um, the Falcon Jaegers, even though they were in the semifinals. And then uh, sixth place would have been... I have this written down somewhere else. I'm, I'm guessing at this point. I think Bear. I think Bear's team finished last. And then I think... Um, I think uh, Stand Arrow Stand Arrow, and 12th Fear are either 6 and 7. I... I have to go back. It's too late at night for me to go back and look at all the matches. But uh, those are your quote-unquote official rankings. Please take some of this with a grain of salt because I don't have, once we get past third place or so, it really gets complicated because the, everybody signed up for a single elimination tournament, right? And so all the teams that lost here kind of are all kind of like on equal footing. But what we ended up doing, though, is we devised the systems so that we could have. Somebody could be third place. So you have first, second, third place, and then fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth. Um, I did the best I could, but um, I think everybody here is a winner. <laughs> At the end of the day, that's the thing. And then um, before I took off, though, I wanted to go over to the um, event forums and show off. That's the print one. Where's my... I just wanted to um, quick show off some artwork that uh, Firehound had done because Firehound has done some really awesome artwork along with um, gosh I'm sorry about it um, okay so so see this for for tournament recordings uh, we've got uh, this picture that, uh, that Firehound did for us then we have this picture and uh, I, I, we'll, we'll get around to using those uh, very soon that's uh, that's fun and then uh, there's um, some some really cool pictures that Firehound and uh, the promotions team did. So uh, special thank you to everybody, and uh, I really hope everybody had fun. This is uh, this is gonna do it. And uh, oh, Snow Gibbon, you're still on. Twelfth uh, VR went 0 and 3 against Jaegers and went 3 and 1 against Bears. All right, uh, 3 and 1 against Bears. Um, Okay, thanks. Uh, when, when all you know, what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna save that info, and I'm gonna pu put together an official battle log of, of everything. Um, but uh, I just, uh, um, yep. Yeah. Hi, Ben. Um, all right. So anyway, that's the three v three, everybody, and uh, it's really late at night, so I'm gonna wrap that up. So everybody that's been watching, thank you very much, and uh, look for the edited videos coming soon.